Turkish-speaking nomads. An incredible richness, really, that entered my life from the time that that I went to live in in Afghanistan. It was the first sight of Afghani uh, little boys in their, you know, their their national costume with little hats on. Partly the very interesting um, culture, material culture. I remember the mountains. Uh, that turned purple in the dusk. Once you go and see the people, their kindness, their hospitality, their friendliness, you can't forget them. You have to go back to Afghanistan. Nobody locked their doors in Kabul. It, it just wasn't like that. There was safety. Um, I had lived in India and I had lived in um, America and I had lived in England. And in all of those places, people do not tell the truth. And the Pashtuns tell the truth. I don't believe that violence is true, um, you know, is the first call of duty on any Muslim or any Christian or any human being. But above all, the people. The people were very, very friendly, charming, hospitable and nice. Alexander the Great had said that the Afghan people are the most hospitable people in this world. done by the brutality of war is incalculable. I think it is important that Afghanistan is a place that has never been conquered. And this is a country in which a 10-year child is a warrior. It's culturally very different. It's hard for them to understand our ways and our people. <laughs> People have not learnt from the history. Terrorism and um, bombings and hostile acts, it doesn't represent our people nor our country. The coup against the king and the imposition of a republican government system was the beginning to me of, of, of the breakdown of Afghan culture. I understood 9-11. I understood that this was one more moment in a very long war. Why should we go and take other people's land? They expect it to be a happy situation. This bloody war is out of control of all Africans. Destructive, disruption, violence. I miss the air, I miss the sky, I miss everything. It's a terrible place to be in. Terrible, terrible place. I would love to go back one day. I just, the timing has never been there.